What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now we're gonna be doing something today on the channel that somehow I have never done. Even though it's like literally one of the most requested things that you guys have wanted me to do all these years. All that's gonna change because today we are doing it. Now I'm talking of course about building your own DIY fishing lures. And inside that beautiful lake house right there, we have six homemade lures sitting on a table ready to be put into this lake in an attempt to catch a gigantic largemouth bass. Now this place is known for gigantic bass. That part we already know, but what we don't know is how a DIY fishing lure is gonna hold up against a gigantic bass. We have three hours to take these six DIY fishing lures, and we only have one goal in mind, and that is to catch fish, folks. That is to make the lures work. That is to catch the biggest fish possible on these lures. If you guys like this type of stuff, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. That way you guys don't miss any giveaways that may or may not be in this video and future videos. Without further ado, let's get inside. Let's walk you guys through the lures, how we built them, what our inspiration was, and then we'll be fishing. So it's 110 degrees here in Texas right about now. It's super hot. A little warm. So we spent a lot of time today inside building these lures. Our good friend Mike went to the dollar store when I kind of mentioned this video to him and he brought home about $30 worth of random items. Myself and Andrew went to Home Depot and you did too. Yep. And we got a couple things there and we kind of just put everything in a big pile and said, Go. Would you like to start things off, buddy, and yeah. kind of talk us through yeah, uh, no. your, your thought process here, yeah. what you got going on? Yeah, absolutely. So, first thing I wanted to do when, we were, when I knew we were doing a do it yourself, build your own, you know, fishing bait challenge was think about something I used to fish when I was a kid okay. topwater popper. Oh. So, topwater popper was a classic, it was easy. Just throw it out there, pop it a couple times, yeah. you can swim it it's if you want. It's exciting, too. It's exciting. And topwater blow ups are the best. Had to use that for inspiration. What we did was got a piece of wood. It was like a broom handle, you know, it's probably half inch in diameter. Cut it off to about the size of what a popper would be. Chiseled out the mouth, which you know is gonna give it that pop and action. Yeah, a little pull. cupped mouth. That's what catches the water and makes it, it a popper. It makes the bloop yep, sound too, right? right? Dude, don't sell yourself short. You did a hell of a job on this thing. I, I'm proud of it now that it's all said and done. I really am. It turns out great. You put a ton of effort into like the, how it looks, the bottom and top. Like, show the bottom. Ah, uh, yeah, we sure did. So on the bottom of it, what we did was we had some 3M reflective tape. Dude, give it a little extra shine so, right there. Yeah, a little extra shine, it's especially if the sun hits that. I yeah. mean, that's gonna really reflect some light. Uh, left a little bit of the red for the tail. Love and it. then again on the top, hey, all we did was use a little bit of yellow and uh, red paint. Had a little paint stick. And then you, I like to say you label it a popper just in case we were confused about what yeah. it was. Just in yeah. case I forgot what I was making halfway through, I needed a reminder. <laughs> Put a couple treble hooks on it, wrapped it up. That thing is sweet. I, I'm very confident in that lure. That's gonna be the name of the game, which one of these is actually gonna catch fish. And as we go yeah. along, they get a little bit more ridiculous, but yeah. that is one we feel very confident should catch fish tonight. Our top of the water. Okay. Right. All right. We need so something for we, we need a, something the on water. the bottom, right? Something right. on the bottom. Correct. And a jig, you can swim it, right? So hey went with a jig. Got a jig got, here. Got two Homemade, of them. Homemade, hand tied. Probably not the prettiest. If you saw it hanging on a shelf, you may not buy it, but if you're at your house and you make your own, you'd be very happy with it. I'm gonna let you explain it, but it's yeah. a super basic idea. Anybody yeah, can no, do this. It really is. So you have a um, like an offset, like a worm hook, Texas rig worm hook. And we have a big size zero, I think, split shot weight. We just pinched on clamped the, on there, clamped it on the head of the of the uh, of the hook where you would tie your line, and then with a little bit of super glue and patience and some rubber bands, a little O ring right there to kind of yeah. hold the. That's right. So yeah. These are, the, the skirt is rubber bands that were that was cut it's, into just singular strips to give the skirt some bulk right there, oh and yeah. just and there's just an O ring around it. Yeah. Super simple, like four household, not household items, but for a fisherman, things you'd have lying around. Really cool. We got two of those. Like I said, that way I can throw one, or if we break one if off, we, which if, is yeah, very we break one possible. Off. Brad killed it, especially with this one. This one is really cool. Now on to mine. Mine got a little, got a little Your, out of control. Yours has a lot more pizzazz and character. So I would, I'd probably start with the one that has the yeah. most, the most work put into it. Okay. Right. So I, before you see it, I've always wanted to make a topwater lure out of a piece of PVC pipe. I don't know why. I just thought it would work. And what I was ended up with here is some kind of a monster that comes out of my nightmares. <laughs> this absolute worst <laughs> fear in life is to see this in the middle of the night but at the same time might be a functional <laughs> yeah. topwater lure when it's all said and done. So PVC pipe, cut it down to size, right? We're gonna cap it on both sides, which is gonna waterproof it. 
Then we're gonna just put some little simple little O-ring screws in there. That's gonna hold your, your hooks. Got a little crazy with the paint and the reflective tape. Yeah, it's, I, it's necessary. Also got a little crazy with the accessories, but I just wanted, I wanted my top water lure to have a face, a character. And I really can't compete with how, how the craftsmanship in yours, so I had to kind of go bigger yeah. and louder, right, you know? Yeah. So the eyebrows and goatee combo, I think do that really well. I'm not yeah. so <laughs> confident in that one, but I, it could work as well. Yeah. She's real pretty. Thank you. <laughs> now where my real confidence lies is an old lizard boy here. This is by far the most challenging one, I would right. think. This is one of the many items that Mike picked up at the Dollar General, but what we realize is these things float. Okay, these yeah. lizards float, and their skin is very tough, like that of a fishing lure. It's very hard to tear. So we had to get a little creative with the hook placement. So we took a buzz bait, which is my all-time favorite lure, by the way. So I wanted to integrate that into this lure. We took a buzz bait wire, made a couple clips, removed the blade, ran the wire all the way through the lizard, and then we just super glued the entry and exit points right there to keep it completely yeah. water sealed yeah. so it sits on top of the water. And then I'm hoping to just kind of twitch it around and maybe the legs are gonna do a little bit of a dance. There are monster fish in this lake. Monster fish to where this would just be a snack for them, right? Oh, so sure. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. fact. You've caught them, yeah. I've caught them here. And it's a single hook presentation. It's going to be a top water, so there's a lot of things that could go wrong with this. But I feel like if I can get a bite, I can catch a fish. I, I can't wait to see something try to blow up on that thing. So I said six lures. That's only four. Yeah, we have we got a couple other specialty lures that got handcrafted for us while we were down having fun this morning, right. breaking PBs, just yeah. catching monsters. Mike Ledson was in here doing some work, but just to let you guys inside the mind of a brilliant man like Mike Ledson, let me just show you what he was just tinkering with one day. Look at this right here. My man took a golf ball and he made it into a fishing lure right there with eyelashes as well. Yes. The eye of destiny, one, <laughs> one might call it. So this is the kind of this is the kind of creativity you're looking at here. And I believe that lure might get fished some tonight as well. I... Mike was trying to replicate two of the most effective lures in this lake, which are crankbaits. Banger, which is a square bill. Everybody, you know, we know what that is. And then the clutch, which has caught the lake record and many, many other big yeah. bass out here. So Mike wanted to make real replicas of these two lures. We have not seen them yet. But he no. spent a couple hours on them and there was sawdust on the floor in here. Yeah. So I think he actually hand carved some glue. Yeah. Oh, they're oh, in packages. Package. You're kidding oh, me. They're upside down. Okay. So okay. we gotta pick which one we want? I guess you just pick which one you want. The one, two, three. All right, folks. Folks at home, what do you think? How they look, dude. My, yeah, Andrew, you good? I think I think you got the best one. I got the best one? Oh, yeah. okay. Gosh. All right, good. All right, yeah. you ready? Ready to look at it? I'm ready. All yeah. right. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh, there's a Red Bull can Dude. in here. There's a Red Dude, Bull I got can. The banger. You got yeah. the banger. I got the I got the clutch, What's but it's got a Red Bull can on it. You even retaped it, my gosh. Look at that. So we <laughs> Man. So we've got a little diving plate on there, huh? Look at that. Look, look at the detail. Look at the color scheme. Color that looks perfect. that looks just like that. Dude, put that it next does. to that. Wow, my That's pretty amazing. That's, right a, that's there. how long did that take you? Both of them took both of them took me about an hour, hour and a half. Let's see. So I have been tasked to make two fishing lures for these guys. Comparison here. Not too bad. What do you think? I think they'll like it. That's one. with the Red Bull blue oh, on it's there. It's even got the, like the fin up it's coming up It's got the of it. fin. Mm. Wow, Mike. 
Oh yeah, I think I did get I, the slightly better one. That, I think that, like yeah, stylistically, no, no. I'm, is I'm, cool. I'm going. Dude, we have got, we are, we are outfitted right now. Yeah, we've got perfect bait to go out there and throw on this lake. So we each have kind of our own three lures. We got this one as an extra. Cool. I want to see how these work in the water, but even if they even if they have minimum action, just for the amount of time spent. Oh, happy that's with incredible. How they turned out. They're, wow. they're aesthetically a pleasing. That's, That's incredible right there in an hour and a half, which is what yeah. how long it took us it's to make these monstrosities. <laughs> it's the same thing, but way better. All we have to do now is let the sun go down a little bit more. We're gonna try to catch this evening bite with three hours. Okay, we got a three hour time limit. Okay. We've got to make these lures work. There is no failing. We have to catch fish, we will. ideally a big fish. All right, let's yeah. do this, my friend. Let's do it. Let's go. So what are you gonna start here? Well, I think the basic plan is to yeah, right. go out to the middle, find some grass, crank with our crankies. Because I've got the I've got the lipless with the Red Bull can, and then that's one of the jigs right there that came together really nicely, by the way. Yeah. That looks nice. With the trailer on there, it looks really good. Yeah, with the trailer. You've got your square bill, which is, might be the coolest bait in the entire competition. And we got Andrew over there just looking majestic against the backdrop of that sunlight hitting the water. Pelican just set sitting up. Oh, let's see. Oh my it's goodness. Wiggled, it? It's it's wiggling. You're it kidding. Working. Look it's at that. Work. It's definitely wobbling. And and honestly, like Mike said, it could have made the bill, you know, yeah, a lot bigger and it would longer. and it would clearly be wobbling like it should be, but that thing is still wobbling. Yeah, great job, it. Mike. That's that's gonna get eaten oh, for pop. sure. Yeah, I, I know. Look at it. Hopefully it's heavy enough to cast, no issue. That's gonna be the thing, casting. Let's see what this yeah. thing looks like. Yeah. Dude, I don't know if this is gonna sink. It's there we sinking. go. Because we do have to figure out how to cast these things and if we are able to. This thing doesn't feel super heavy. It's like a hollowed out piece of wood. Oh, look at that. Dude, that was not bad. That's plenty of No this. bird's nest? No bird's nest. Okay, that was not bad at all. Let me try this little thingy. Same, oh, I could definitely come up off that. I can tell it's not quite getting to the depth that the actual thing are in. Right, yeah. Which, the bill size, you know, that's kind of the deal with that. And mine's kind of not sinking that fast, but I'm gonna, we're gonna have to give them, give them a little time here. Let's get settled in using them. You know how it is with the new lure. It takes a little bit of time to kind of figure it out, see what it likes to do. This thing kind of has a crazy swimming action to it. If I just straight retrieve it, it kind of like goes all over the place. I just wish it would dive down. Look, you see how erratic it is? Yeah, it is. It looks kind of crazy. Yeah, I might have to keep doing that. Look, it just like comes up and then goes down, like dives and kind of just goes yeah, all over yeah. the place. It's got that Red Bull can on the outside. <laughs> the bass has never seen a shiner wearing a Red Bull jacket. So they're very confused right now. All right, guys, so the basic plan here is me and Brad are going to really focus on these open water lures, these crankbaits, square bill lipless. And then we're going to slowly transition to all the top water lures. We have three different top water lures as the sun starts to go down, which is going to be in the next couple hours. So let's work this grass, Brad. Let's try to find one of these giants that we know are lurking off of this major point out here in the grass. You know, they haven't quite moved up shallow yet for the evening. Yeah. Right. Or that's the hope. And I hope they do move up shallow, like right now. That'd yeah, be great. So. We might even hop in the water and do a little bit of wade fishing, which we've been doing out here because it's so hot. And it's a great way to sneak up on fish, believe it or not. I know I was skeptical at first too, but it turns out it's pretty effective. See, I'm actually kind of keeping this thing down in the water column now. This might be beneficial. If I work it like a jerk bait, it kind of gets pulled down into the water. Got to get it in there first, though. All right. Can you see it? Oh yeah, yeah. Can you? It's got a little bit of a wobble to it. Yeah, it did have a little bit of a tight wobble to it. Yeah. Pretty so if, if I wobble. if I burn it fast though, it floats up to the top. See? I quit it. Yeah. You, you would. I'm on. I'm on. Whoa. I'm on. Look at there. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. We're on. Oh, you're With the square bill. The whole danger. The danger banger. <laughs> Look at there. 
fish on, homemade lure right Whoever there. Just showing Andrew the action of the lure from his perspective, and there are. How he, you can tell us there's fish underneath your boat. I didn't yeah. know, dude. They're actually yeah, on me. He was for sure on to something. Hey, throw it over here by me. He's like, hey, there's bad. Look, Look at there. Hey, dude, not a lunker, but that's that freaking Mission awesome. accomplished, right? That's so sick. Send it back where he came from. Let me give you one last look at what you bit, all right? We'll be back for more, okay? Dude, all right, dude. dude. Stayed together perfectly, right? I mean, oh, yeah. The hooks are still intact. Everything's tight. I mean, everything's super tight. The square bill, the, the bill's still in it. I mean, wow. come on, dude. Paints, L &M paints custom, fine. L&M Custom Lures, 12 on. Hit me up. We'll get you on. Mike Redson. <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to throw by you one more time, all right, Andrew? Yeah, you might want to keep on doing that. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm just waiting, dude. I got a feeling about this lure. If we drift much further, we'll probably want to move. Yes, yes. Not much longer. For look sure. How, look how the wind's taking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right. right. Oh, I'm on. Oh. I'm on. Oh. On the fall. Oh. Dude, that, that feels one. good. Oh, he oh, spit no. it. He got off. That was a that freaking was a good monster. Fish. That, was a really good fish. that was a monster. Okay, well, at least we know it works. The fish oh, works. a hook. We lost oh, a we hook. Lost hook. That's why it came off. Oh. He pulled the hook straight up. We lost a hook. That was, that dude, was back me up on this. That was a very good fish, yeah. That was a five, six plus pounder. It, Pulled the stinking hook off of the back, yeah, dang. When you see the big frame come out of the water from 30, oh. 40 yards away, you know it's a good fish. And I yeah. wanna keep throwing it, but I don't know if, if they can get hooked that good I, now. Man, I you think know what I mean? I think you'd probably be risking losing another fish. Shoot, right? that was a good, that was a good fish. We needed that. Man, that was a bit like when I laid into it, you know, no movement. Like he's just got me. Oh. I don't have him. He's got me. That type of feeling. He, he comes yeah, up and jumps once. That's a five, six pounder all day. All day long, yeah. And, and that's yeah. just from here, you know. That was my lure, man. That was the lure. We don't have any replacement parts. We don't have right any replacement parts. We just have the lures we have. But hey, look, two bites it, yeah. right out of the gate. You secured yours with the square bill. I broke my crankbait, but this thing gave its life for this challenge. Sure, sure so uh, I count that as at least some type of a win. Absolutely. We we still have both of the jigs yes. with with love grubs, yep. and we have three topwater lures. This is not over. I could be throwing this jig around in there, yeah. I guess, in that same area. Let's. Yeah. Well, you want to reposition yeah. and just and float back through. I want to throw a Brad's own jig right there. Brad's homemade love grub, red, white, and blue, folks. Yeah, yeah, bear, 4th of July coming around the corner, right? So unless your dad has communist fish in this lake, they need to bite. You know what I'm saying? These fish better be Americans. That's all I can say. I don't think Central Texas is any commies right around. You don't have to worry about that? No commie bass down there. Great job on these jigs, Brad. I got to tell you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Well, you talk about a homemade lure. That's about as homemade as it gets. And, and it has a great presentation. It's freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Let's look at this thing in the water. I mean, of course, it looks awesome. I mean, it's got the skirt. It's got the trailer. It's got the hook. Jeez. Yeah. It's perfect cool. weight. It falls kind of slow. You notice I gave some eyeballs there, right? You did give him eyeballs. That's a swim jig right there. Dude. Heck yeah, man. We're kind of crushing yeah, this we're... challenge right now. Oh, I'm on it. Oh. On, on the jig. On the jig. Be a on the homemade one. jig. Be a big one. Like the first cast. Was that was the first real cast. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, no, don't tear my jig up. Don't tear my jig up. Don't tear my jig up. It's a one of one. It's a one of two. Let's go, dude. The jig completely held together. It's completely fine. It's completely fine. Ready to re be recasted. That's awesome. Hook stayed intact. Jig head still on there. Unbelievable, man. Hell yeah. Let's go. These bass are all about America. Thank you for being patriotic, my friend. I love you. Fire. Dude, two fish on homemade lures. That's sick. Look at, dude, it completely Three fine. Completely landed. Completely fine. Completely fine. Nothing yeah. to be repaired. It is completely fine. Even the love grub, everything is good. Not a good cast. Not a good cast. Well, it's got to be a little bit cold. I'm still dialing her into the wind. I think I'm gonna try to swim this thing a little bit with that love grub on there. Yeah. A little shad That'd just kind of lazily swimming in the shallows with no idea the danger presented to him. 
I hate to complain about the jig, but next time you're making one, you might want to do a little bait keeper, you know, on the I, hook or I something. Know, you yeah, know? Yeah. Bait's kind of well, sliding off a little yeah. bit. Or maybe just put some super glue on it, right? Which is what I, I could have easily done that had I thought about it before this moment. Might just slowly crawl this thing on the bottom. They seem to be related to the bottom a little bit. Well, it's it's also three feet deep right here so yeah, the bottom is the top it's all the same it's, it's in the water it's working all the columns exactly my that's oh, oh that's a good that's better fish than the first one whoa hey there that's uh you want the net there buddy yeah since those i don't want to boat flip and risk losing one of don't those hooks. risk it yeah look at that ah he yeah. is feisty it's a feisty girl looky there nice man number two number on the two, square bill two on the square bill she's and caught, caught up in the net right now so a little bit of a off, little bit of a size increase too yeah look at there number two on the square bill on that dude the thing old, is still holding up. that's so sick man l and m banger right there huh? <laughs> that's so sick you can't beat it can't beat it can't Let's beat go. it can't beat it boy fish number three fish number three yeah let's go don't you don't you act scared back no, there? I, have, I think I got him. Oh, he dropped oh, it, man. or he took my love grub, or he took my love grub. Oh, I got problems. Uh oh, yeah, you had the whole wrapper around there. Oh, he tried to love pull my pants down. There. Yeah, but we do got to make a keeper on there. Thing is still holding together marvelously, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like multiple bites, not even a rubber band strand has broken. Which is kind of crazy if you that think is, about it. You thought I thought the skirts were going to be gone immediately. Like first bass hit, skirts gone. Uh uh. But now, folks, it's time. Take the boats back in. We've got like an hour of daylight left. We've been pretty successful, but it's time to switch to top water. And we've got quite a few crazy top water homemade lures to throw. I know that's my favorite type of fishing. I'm sure it's yours and everybody else's. Yeah, absolutely. The blow up, the love. Can't beat it. We're also gonna get in the water now too, so we can be a little bit more stealthy. We can get in all this cover without having to worry about the troll motor banging off the trees and stuff. You ready to get wet? I'm ready to get really wet. <laughs> you wanna get wet? It's wet and wild. All right, Mr. Lizard Jr. Oh, the time has come, huh? We're pulling him out. If you're ever gonna throw a ridiculous lure top water, this is where you'd really wanna do it. Like anywhere, this is where you'd wanna do it. So that alone gives me confidence now yeah this could just sink to the bottom of the lake because it's depressed about how it looks and then it would be just gone yeah so you know that could happen damn there's a fray right there in my braid damn, damn it, girl. that's not good all right folks i'm pulling it out got the did we ever name this god awful thing no i don't think so i think we decided it didn't deserve a name because it was an abomination the big ugly the abomination the abominable top water that's what we're going to call it the you got gunchy. homemade popper let me homemade see that thing popper. one more time look. look at the look we got some things going on here man we have some very unique things going on here whip your popper on out there man i want to see this thing i want to see nice cast by the way oh look at that look oh, at this wow. action dude that was behind that stick pile right now i think i'd be getting hit that's, oh, that's beautiful that perfect that's beautiful that is what a popper wants to look like when it wakes up in the morning that's what a popper dreams to be dude nicely done man you see, made some absolute see those blow ups oh right up there that i don't think this thing is going to look nearly that good i'm going to warn you all right now don't hey. get your hopes too high all right abomination popper 1.0 good dude oh, like a, <laughs> a bomb oh it's not resurfacing. Oh yeah, it's up there. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just it's, right uh, it's up there. It's just trying to sink a little bit. But okay, I got a little walk going on. Look, I got a little walk. It's under the water, but I do have a little bit of a walk going on. I mean, mine just looks like garbage next to next to Brad's. But look at that. That's got some action on it. Though. Look at the walking. Look at the walking. Oh yeah, you keep that in the same spot. Look at the walking. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And and. Oh, watch it, Andrew. Whoa. Kept her eyelashes on the whole nice. time. Didn't lose the beard either. A little go goatee still. right there. Yeah. Abomination. Here all day. Right there. It has got some popping action. Dude, this thing walks. walks it just... It, oh, there's one right there. It just... It walks under the water like six inches, like two inches. 
Yeah, mine's definitely not on top of the water as much as you'd like it to be. But you know what? It's white and it's moving on top of the water. Yeah, it's got that red on it too. It's actually like super subtle, which is perfect because it's not windy right now. Now, is it gonna hold? That's gonna be the million dollar question. Are the hooks gonna hold? Because that's right. that's been kind of the deal so far. I don't think it's taking on water. I think it's pretty, pretty okay. Not the prettiest thing in the world. Look, I get it. God, that fish just swam right past my lure. Dang it. Why didn't I cast in the super shallow water, Andrew? This thing doesn't walk as much as it just kind of trodges through the water, if that's even a word. If I do that every time, it's going to get bit eventually. You look at that wake that I'm creating, man. Good. Yeah, it's causing a lot of disturbance, that's for sure. I mean, hey, the thing's holding together, though. Look at the freaking eyelashes, man, and the beard. It's holding, dude. The whole thing's holding. There we go. Oh, there we go. Something hit me. Oh. Short struck it. Got a hit? Yeah, I got a hit as soon as it hit the water. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, but it... It missed it and then let go of it. Dude, top water is only gonna get better from here on out, man. Look at the sun. I mean, we got we got a, a solid hour ahead of us. Can't believe how well this thing is casting. Oh, that's gonna be a snag and a freaking half right here. Snag and a half. Oh, I'm taking down the branch. You see that? Yeah, dude. Dang it. I cannot lose this. It's a one of one. This thing is kind of tough to work. Yeah. It's really heavy, yeah. I'm sure it's taking on a wee bit of water. And it's not quite floating as good as it once was. And my reflective tape is starting to come loose. She, has, she also looks a little sad too. She can't give up yet. It's not time. Oh, whoa, I don't know if that was a bite. If I was snagged, man. Right in the middle of two big pieces of cover and all of a sudden it was tight and then all of a sudden it wasn't. I think that could have been our first hit. Let's take a look at our lure. Oh, she held. I don't see any bite marks. Yeah, she's getting pretty heavy. I think she's betrayed us to let on, let on a little bit of water. Oh, I'm right back in there. I think I can safely say that was the first hit on my top water. Something grabbed me. Dude, if I keep making casts like this and I keep going through these areas, you and I both know what's coming. Mm-hmm. That random blow up that you were never gonna get in a million years, but for some reason it worked. Yes. Erratic. Erratic? I'm wounded. Maybe an eagle dropped me. I don't know. Oh my, there was something right in front of me. I kind of thought there might be. Oh, 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 it's a stick. I thought something hit it. That really threw me off. Oh, 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 I got something tailing me. That was crazy. Lure hit the water, it kind of spooked something and it turned back around as I was twitching it, it kind of like was tailing me. Nosing me a little bit, they're getting frisky. The bass are getting frisky, my friends. Look, they're moving real shallow too, they're everywhere. Look, there's some right in front of us, something moving right in front of us. Top water popper was a very fun way to fish as a kid. It was uh, the, oh, oh, we are on. Big bass. That's huge. Oh, we got a good fish on here. Hopefully these on hooks the stay tight. On the homemade popper. Let these hooks stay tight. I've got my drag set. Oh, that's a good bass. Do you oh. want, I'm going in for it. <laughs> Look at oh this. Oh my God. I've got the drag set. I've got the drag set easy. I don't know about these hooks. Oh. That's a good bass. Help me land her, partner. Oh. Looky there. Stop it, baby. Come on. Oh. Come on. That homemade PB oh, in the my house. God. Look at there. Thank you for getting that bass for me. You're kidding me. Looky there, guys. Hey, Do he we was, have any pliers? He was not getting off. No. Uh, it, that I, worked so well. All right, top water popper got blown up on. Look at that, top Dude. water popper. We knew it was gonna work. Freaking believable. It doesn't matter. That was the loudest blow up of it the was. entire trip. That was so loud. It was uh, the. Oh, oh! Look at that, man. God, what done, a clean, man. healthy bass, too. Hooks Good held. Fish. 
Hook's held, lure's still in good shape. Look at it, no open paint. Paint didn't even get chipped off of it. <gasps> and she smashed it. <laughs> now that's what you call some good manufacturing, Woo! fellas. All right, we're gonna go let it release, huh? That means we can go grab the lizard. That's right, the man. Blue lizard. We're moving on to bigger and better topwater lures now. All right, let's make sure she's okay. Oh yeah, she's strong. She's ready yeah, to swim off. She's good. There she goes. Man, that was so sick. That blow up, dude. Wow. That sounded like an atomic bomb going off over here. I don't know how much more satisfaction you can get. Build your own bait, come out here in your lake, pop it a couple times. Smash a five pounder. Smash a five, that was awesome, Look dude. That sunset right there. We are living the dream, folks. Literally. Two more baits left have not caught fish. Every other lure has successfully yeah. caught fish, which is nutty. We weren't sure if any of these were going to hold together. <laughs> so we've got two topwater lures left. By the look of the sun, we got about 30 minutes 30, of, yeah. of filmable, fishable light. We've got to complete this thing. We've come we, so far. Yeah, we're close. We're so close. We have to do it now. You want to throw the old uh, turd? Yeah, 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 turd yeah. knocker yeah, for a little yeah. while? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll throw the old we're, we're getting lizard. Into, into the uh, strike zone here for sure. Oh yeah, it's happening. Boy, this is heavier than I was thinking. It's it's heavy. It's All right, dude, this is this is a heavy area right here. I'm seeing a ton of movement already. Dude, I gotta see what this thing is in the water. Let me just kind of yeah, this can, nice and easy flip. Here goes the inaugural sin. Oh, dude, tell me that's not gonna get destroyed. Dude, you're gonna get bit. Tell me that's not gonna you're get gonna destroyed. Get it's gonna get destroyed. I don't know if I can cast it like hard, but look at that thing going through the water. That ain't bad. Look, it looks like a little lizard just kind of looking for something. Yeah, no. He's not looking for any trouble. He's just looking for something. I've got a fish. Oh, did you see it, Andrew? Yeah, I did. Something was swimming away with the lizard in its mouth. <laughs> oh, he's all jacked up. Let's see if he made it through that encounter right there. He seems to be okay. <laughs> Lizard gonna make it? Dang. Does he still float? It's gonna be the that is the million dollar question. Hey, we got a bite on it, man. That's right. We got a bite. And you know what that means? That means if fish are willing to bite it, I'm willing to catch them. Oh. Oh, there it is again. I know he does it. I don't know. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it, but it's getting hit. This fish is in love with this lizard. Two bites on the lizard. I see him. It's just going to take the right size fish to get it done. That's going to be the thing. Oh, 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 oh! Come on! I got one on the lizard! Ah! Let's go! <laughs> oh, you're not going to see that every day, folks. <laughs> Look oh, my God. <laughs> you're going to... I'm hung up you're... out there. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We've lost the pipe. It's okay. I can go out there and get it now. You yeah. It's... Oh, Dude, my gosh. He got that. He got, he got in the bottom of the lip, which is always so weird. Look at that, folks. <laughs> my man right here was hungry. Dude, smash the lizard. <laughs> awesome, dude. Congrats. Oh my gosh, that just happened. I'm gonna keep throwing it too. This thing is. You've had three bites and quickly, minutes. quickly, yeah. dude. The sun's going down. I'm telling you, it's about to happen. I've got to run out there and get this retrieved. Oh, and look, it stayed together. Everything stayed together. Nothing ripped. It's not taking on water. That, my friends, is impressive. That's craftsmanship. That's such a big meal for a bass that size. That's crazy. That just shows you the mentality that these fish have out here, man. I mean, they are not playing around. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How did I do that though? That's a nice entry. Oh, I got a bigger one. I got a bigger one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Him. No! Let's go. He took all my tail. He took my tail. Oh, he tucked it. Yeah, he just wrapped it up his back. The entry was crazy because I got I hit a stick on entry and dangled it in. Then I ripped the stick down. Bait came flying off and he pummeled it. These are not huge fish. Look at what they're eating. It's 
We need to rig up the other lizards. We had three of these, but we were so unsure of their functionality, we only made one. That was apparently a mistake. A yes, it was. That's, that thing's received the most bites. Unbelievable. Oh boy, I didn't mess up on this one. That was, wow, the wind gusted up right when I was throwing it. I did not take that into account. Oh, on again. Give me another one. Oh, I think I found the new setup, man. We need to patent this immediately. Oh, this little like buzz bait wire through the random object thing. This is about to get fun. As a YouTube angler, we can do a lot with that. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm, a, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. Also, the, the size. Take notice of the size of fish attacking this lure. If you ever think to yourself that maybe your lure is too big, you won't catch enough bass. I mean, these have all been two pound and under. Insane. See you, buddy. That was a risky cast, too. Yes, it was. I was in it. I was in some trouble over here. Dude, it's still, I mean, it's still holding together, man. Yeah, dude, you did good on that one. This is super glue, a buzz bait wire, and a toy lizard. A big toy lizard, not even a small toy lizard. Using it as a topwater walking bait. Twitch walking bait. And it's working. And it's getting more bites than anything else we've thrown. Let that all sink in. I'm getting into some trouble too, and it's just like weedless. I can't believe it's still floating. Dude, it hasn't ripped the first hole in it. That's insane. I mean, we've caught three fish and it has not torn the first hole in this thing. The material it's made of is like super stretchy and durable. You can't break this stuff. I'm going to try to get a little risky here. Get, dude, get risky for the bisky, please. That's it, folks. We're calling it. The yeah. last lure standing, who knew, was going to be the pipe mini pipe bomb with eyelashes yeah. i mean everything held together with it but and we worked it hard we tried it got bites i got it, bit at least yeah. once where i got tight yeah. on the fish yeah. you I, got blown up I, on I, with I, it. I did have a bite upon entry as well with this one so so quick recap everything worked the jig worked yeah. my lipless crankbait you could say it didn't catch a fish but it fell apart before it could on a yeah. huge fish but it got bit so let's yeah. say it worked square bill multiple fish right it worked or at least one square, fish two yeah caught two on the square bill. two fish two on three fish on this that one takes the cake that's the winner the winner most fish unbelievable you caught a giant fish on your caught homemade a massive, popper massive five pounder just complete success had so much fun truly we've had Amazing. so much fun doing this making these lures we spent all day kind of messing with them and trying to make them functional as well as crazy we did all those things dude thank you for helping yeah. no thank you l and yeah. lake and golf retreat continues to be one of the top bass lakes I've ever been to and one of the funnest places to come. So big shout out to L&M for having me and Andrew and treating us so good. Thank you guys. Yeah. It was fun. Glad we had people to join us. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this homemade DIY lure challenge. I know you did because you guys have been asking for it for years, literally. Finally yeah. did it. I think we did it right. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching. We're out of here.